I'm here. I'm here for you. Season contender Luis Ortiz is looking to make a final run in the heavyweight division. Standing in his way is his PBC stablemate, Charles Martin. I walk this earth like a guy. The two-time title challenger Ortiz has largely been inactive since being knocked out for a second time by Deontay Wilder more than two years ago. So there are questions about the 42-year-old Cuban's form and what impact the layoff without significant rounds will have. Yeah. I'm just thankful and happy. Thankful with everybody that has given me the opportunity to be on this stage. Thankful with my trainers that have prepared me for this opportunity. And I'm ready to do my job. I'm ready to shine. You know why my name isn't among those that you mentioned? Because they avoid me. I don't know why they avoid me, but they do. Maybe it's because they got their panties in a bunch. I don't know. But I'll be ready for when, for when they call my name. Uh, I'm ready for war. I'm going to come out and give it all I got. And as far as the advantage or disadvantage of being, you know, in out of reach or with, uh, with lesser height, it really doesn't matter because you can prepare for a certain style and then all of a sudden you step into the ring and it's a completely different thing. My mentality is to be ready. My mentality is to take on any challenge that comes my way. It's really as simple as that. No, the question was about how uh, ready do you feel to be able to challenge uh, for the world title, something that many Cubans you know, hope and that they dream about. And Luis was saying that nobody is ever going to be able to take away my dream away from me, ever. And I'm going to continue to get ready and I'm going to continue to focus on, on my next challenge, which is fighting is Charles Martin. And then keep going, keep putting on that effort, because if I do, then I have no reason to think that that dream uh, won't come true. My strategy hasn't changed. It has always been to face the best and to be the best. And whatever path that takes me on, that's fine with me. The challenge remains the same, the goal remains the same, the strategy remains the same. Uh, I'm always motivated. Being, being near or far away from home, I am absolutely always motivated. And to be honest with you, even being here in Miami, it's tough, it's tough for me to see my, my kids or my wife sometimes because of the training camp, how intense it is. We're training really hard. I'm fighting in Miami, obviously. It's absolutely great, and I'm looking forward to it. My mind, my mind and my body are in tip-top shape. Whoever believes that King Kong wouldn't be ready or wouldn't be up to the challenge because of his age is dead wrong. Uh, Luis Ortiz is ready for any challenge. He welcomes any challengers. Of course, he welcomes this one as well. The most intriguing part of this fight for me is what does Luis Ortiz have left? And you heard him there through the translated last comment saying people shouldn't be questioning where he's at because of his age. But why not? It is an open question in my view. Two years since his last significant fight in which he was stopped pretty brutally and he's had less than a round of action in that time since. And now he is 42 years old, allegedly. So where he's at is an open question. And the combination of an aging fighter with inactivity, not a good one. But having said that, if Ortiz has anything left, he should beat Charles Martin, even if he has slipped a bit. In Ortiz's favor is his style doesn't really rely heavily on athleticism or reflexes. Rather, precision punching, footwork, ring craft, and his all-round solid fundamentals. And of course, a powerful left hand that can do significant damage, and he's also got a very good right hook. In Charles Martin, in my view, he's got a style matchup that favors him, with Martin often plodding around, stuck in molasses with his feet, fighting at a relatively sedate pace, which of course is going to play into the aging legs of Ortiz, allowing the 42-year-old to pick his shots, set traps, and look for his money punches. That being said, Martin showed in the Kovnatsky fight an ability to take a degree of punishment and later rally against a tiring fighter. And I know some will favor Ortiz to stop Martin and early, but if Christian Hammer and Travis Kaufman can take Luis Ortiz 10 rounds, Charles Martin has a more than fair chance of being able to do the same. 
And if it does go rounds, Martin could certainly come more into the fight as the fight wears on. And remembering as well, Luis Ortiz famously revealed he takes blood pressure medication after a failed doping test in 2017, claiming it was something he forgot to disclose to the drug testers. It's not being used as a masking substance. And if that's believed to be true and remembering we're more than four years since that incident, if Ortiz has high blood pressure, there's another four years of wear and tear through training, fighting, and two knockouts later, brutal knockouts, it's not out of the question to say that Charles Martin is a chance in this fight. I do favor Ortiz to win this, but he is going to need to be on point and preferably end things early. If he does win, and I guess it doesn't really matter the method, it will breathe some sorely needed momentum into his career and possibly set him up for a big fight later in 2022 with the likes of Andy Ruiz Jr. or maybe even a Robert Hellenius who is well positioned within the WBA holding the WBA gold title. How does this fight go? How does it end? Ortiz, for me, he is the favorite, but not overwhelmingly so, and there are questions.